Yo, it's Mike Williams, or you over me. All right, so this is the second video, the second part for the tutorial on creating an Airbnb style marketplace using ShareTribe's hosted marketplace uh, solution, which from the first video you've seen is, is very turnkey um, and requires uh, no coding. So as, as you can see right now, uh, this is our marketplace uh, called Studio BNB, which is our Airbnb for music studios. Um, and it's pretty bare uh, and basic. So we need to do a little bit of configuration and customization. So that way we have a little bit more um, functionality and features for that we'll need to validate this marketplace. So we're not logged in right now. So this is what everyone that comes to the site will see. Um, as you can see, they have to sign up and log in in the left side nav um, homepage and the about page. Uh, the about page, how it works, privacy policy, and terms of service. Um, this is all placeholder text uh, that ShareTribe populates um, on our marketplace. So we're going to need to go in and edit this uh, and change it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and log in right now. All right, so we're logged in as a user and uh, we do have admin permission. Um, so we actually don't do this from the admin panel for editing the about page and how it works uh, and those other pages. We're just gonna click on the, the actual about page uh, and then you can see each of them in this kind of left side. Um, you would just simply click on the edit from each and this takes you to a uh, on-page kind of text editor, and then at the very top, um, you have a little bit of functionality uh, as far as kind of you know what how you can edit it and what you can add. Um, but we're not going to spend the time to go through that. So we have some other features that we need to um, customize. All right, so let's go over back to the admin panel. All right, so now we're on the admin panel. And our basic listing categories, since we're only offering music studios, uh, and then the we're gonna basically have um, the the different types of studios as uh, filters. Um, that way, that'll populate on the homepage. Uh, and we're sticking to music studios. We're not gonna add any other kind of main categories. If we were gonna be a studio B and B, and we wanted to have, for instance, photo studios. Um, you know, video studios, then we could add other categories. And then that way, when you click on post a new listing as a user that uh, is trying to list their studio, you could select uh, which category of studio. Um, but we're not going to, we don't need to configure that for our MVP. So we're good with the categories. Um, we're also the different uh, fields and filters, as I mentioned. So we do need to create a filter um, for the different studio types. So the current uh, fields, um, which can also be filters, uh, and this is what the, the different text fields that are gonna be on the listing creation process are listing title, price, description, expiration date, location, and image. Really don't need expiration date. Um, we're not gonna worry about removing it though. Um, we are gonna add a checkbox group. And uh, we're gonna call that studio type is the title of it, and if I can type, there we go. And so it's gonna be mandatory uh, when each person creates a listing, and then we're gonna display this on the home page. Um, so we do want that display on the left, so it makes it easy for users uh, to select a filter as far as which um, type of studio they're looking for. So we're just gonna stick with two, just for simplicity in this quick tutorial. So home studio, and then we're gonna add another, so we're gonna add top line studio. All right, so those are two. We don't need to set up payments right now. Thanks for the prompt. So those are our two different um, types, which are going to be filters on the home page. And then I also, for the sake of this tutorial, added a uh, added back in the order type of renting out without accepting payments because I can't demo posting a new listing um, without uh, doing a, the payment integration. So I just added that so I can do a kind of quick demo. Um, but that's our basic configuration. So let's go back to the home page. 
we don't have any new listings. But as you can see, the studio type is on the left. Um, so you can select Home Studio, Top Line Studio. And then we're going to go back to the admin dashboard. And we are going to add a number and we're going to call this uh, price and we're not going to make this mandatory, but we're going to display a filter. So our minimum is going to be 10, and our um, maximum is going to be, we'll just say, 400. Um, and then we'll just call it price uh, per hour. Well, hourly rental will be displayed in the listing, so we don't need that. So we're just going to save this. And then we're going to go back to the home page. And as you can see, now we have a slider. Um, that's going to serve as a or act as a price filter. So this can then update all of our listings. So as we start to build our listing inventory and have uh, you know 10, 50 to 100 studio listings, this will make it really um, this will make it really a, a better user experience for people to discover the right studio um, and then uh, uh, conversions to bookings. So this is the basic configuration. This is actually all we need to configure um, and all the kind of functionality on, on both ends uh, as the kind of marketplace uh, admin capabilities and then also um, as far as usability from the user side. So I'm going to do another video and uh, that's it for the second one. The next one I'm going to talk about um, doing uh, launch prep and what we need to do the final configurations on our marketplace in order to launch and validate our MVP. Thanks.